Hey all nudes here, welcome back to Nudes Airborne RC. And we're here for part three of our two meter Banana Hobby P40 Warhawk build video. In part three, we're gonna be covering the power plant and the install. And make sure you stay towards the end because I'm gonna throw in an added bonus. So I'm gonna go through my rates for the plane and the CG I'm gonna use for the Maiden. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So, let's get some. All right, for part three, the power system and the last part to our Banana Hobby 2 meter P40 Warhawk build. We have everything we have laid out. We have our battery tray slash motor mount. We have our motor. We have our four screws. We have our Hobby Wing ESC. We have our three blades. We have our tri-blade hub and we have our spinner. Now when I went ahead and got this thing, I went ahead with, uh, shot some more clear CA all the way through just to shore it up. So for the first part, we're gonna go ahead and mount the motor to the motor mount with the four screws with some Loctite and we'll be right back. Now before we start mounting the motor, little helpful tips and hints. So on this battery carriage slash motor mount, there is a T laser engraved, an L, an R, and nothing. So that tells you T is to the top, right is to the right, L is to the left. That way it has the camera for the motor offset. And we're gonna go ahead and take this up and we're gonna slide it all the way down into the hole. And we're gonna get a pen. And we're gonna go ahead and mark right here underneath and mark all the way around so we can get a line. That way we know where to glue up to because it doesn't go all the way in. There's about an inch and a half protruding from the outside. That way we just don't make up, uh, make much of a mess. So now let's go ahead and mount this motor and get this glued in finally. All right, everybody. So we got everything here that we need. We got those four screws. We got our denatured alcohol. We got our Loctite. We got our air, what I'm gonna call the motor box from now on, our motor and our tools. So right here, you all can see, I went ahead and I drew my line all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see how that says T, L, and R. So if the plane's facing this way, this would slide in right there. It has its little camber already for the motor offset. So we're only gonna go ahead and put glue around here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our screws and denature alcohol. Then we're gonna go ahead and put Loctite on them and we're gonna mount the motor on here. Now the direction for the motor that we're gonna go ahead and use is we're gonna get it, the motor is either gotta go on this way or this way. I'm gonna try and get the wires as far down, uh, going downwards as possible. Uh, that way it goes to the ESC in the plane. So with the T up, we want the wires to go down. So y'all enjoy the music. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this.
we got our motor in. We chose to go with our wires to go out this direction right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and give her one good lock uh, all the way around and then we're gonna glue this bad boy up and get her finally inside the plane. All right, everybody, we got our glue that was supplied with the model all up to the line. And now we're gonna finally cement this inside the plane. To do so, I'm gonna go ahead and take my battery cover off so I have something I can go ahead and hold up against. And she's in. Motor wire is going where I want them. We'll pull it out a little bit. And I'm going to finally push her in. And that's it. Now that's all you got to do to mount this motor. It, there is a stopper in the back where this only lets you go so far. So this pretty much gives you you're stuck with the spacing that you get between the prop and the cowl. But now that we got this done, we're going to let this dry. Then we're going to go ahead and install our cowl, our spinner, and our prop. And we should be ready to go ahead and finish up and do our CG. All right, for the next part, we're going to go ahead and get our three blade uh, prop together with the hub. So we're going to need these two bags. We're going to go ahead and start pulling stuff out. All right, we have our three blades, we have our hub, and it looks like we have a total of five screws right here in the R Phillips head. So these props, they can only go one way right there. Obviously this right here, if you look at it, this is gonna be, looks like the back, and this is gonna be the front right here. So you wanna have this right here lined up with the front, it goes right there into that right there it's nice and tight and that's about it so let's go ahead and get this together then we're going to take our rear hub we're going to mount it right here and we're going to go ahead and screw it all in with three screws be right back and there she is in all her glory very easy to go ahead and put together now let's go ahead and get this mounted on the motor now for the next part we have our esc right here and i already did some modifications so let's go ahead and talk about that so the first thing you're seeing is you're seeing some zip ties. To mount this in an aircraft, you'll see in a little bit. This is the reason why I went ahead and chose this. You could use some Velcro uh, stick, but the ESC is going to get hot and that's going to go ahead and melt off. So I went ahead and I made this out of some ply and some uh, little sticks right here I had. I think these right here were 3 8 by half inch. And I'm going to throw some epoxy and glue this up into the engine bay. Uh, next... The ESC went ahead and came with these connectors right here. I don't use these right here. Basically, my 6S batteries are either XT90 or EC5. So I'm going to go uh, put my tried and true XT90 male. The reason why I use these is I could put an XT90 female or an EC5 female on this one connector. So let's move to the fuselage and I'll show you what we got cooking. All right, y'all. So this right here, motor's right up here, and this is underneath. So I'm going to mount my ESC right up here. Uh, I've seen a few people Velcro it here, but I'm not going to do that. I really want to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. 
So what I hit did is I notched out a little access hole right here to go ahead and get to the battery compartment. And that way it's going to be a nice clean setup. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. We got our ESC mount right here epoxied in, and we got our ESC right here. We have our wires from our motor connected, and we have our wires set right here on the keeper. So now that we got all that said and done, now it's time to go ahead and install the cow. And there's the cow all installed. All we did is we removed some of the paint with duct tape around the edge. We used the supplied glue that came with the model, and we stuck her on. Now we're going to go ahead and let this dry, and then we're going to come back and finish with the prop. All right, y'all, now for the last few steps, we got our cowl. It's nice and glued on. And now we're going to go ahead, and we're going to need our spinner back plate and our propeller hub assembly. Now before we do this, we're going to do a few things to the ESC, and we did that off camera already. Number one, we want to make sure our ESC works, granted. Number two, we want to make sure our ESC, uh, ESC is spinning the motor in the right direction, okay? And number three, we also calibrated our ESC for our endpoints on our throttle. Now that we have that done and the battery disconnected, we're going to go ahead and mount this. We're going to get this started on. We're going to use the wrench to get it nice down and tight, and then we're going to install the actual spinner cap itself and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're all said and done. We got our throws, we got a radio done, we got our CG, now all that's left to do is mating. Now, if you made it this far, I promised you the bonus. So down in the description, you're gonna have all my rates and throws for all my surfaces, as well as my CG. Look, CG calls out 36 millimeters from the gear door. We, I went ahead and did as I did the math for you. So from the leading edge of the wing back, 115 millimeters, and that's where we're going to fly with the CG. So once again, thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel. And if you really like this, the link's down in the description for you to pick one up from Banana Hobby. Noon's out. Awesome.